Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today is going to be part two of this haul from the past month. If you want to see part one, I will link it down below. The haul from Ulta and from Lush and from CCO, um, the cosmetic company outlet. Um, this was over a period of time. Um, I went to Ulta when I was on vacation in Arkansas. I went to Lush and CCO and oh and I went to Macy's when I was um, in Texas for like a week and a half so there's gonna be quite a few products in here but I wasn't sure how to split the rest of this stuff up so I just thought I'd throw it into one video I just filmed my birthday haul and this is from before that again all of these products were not purchased at the same time this was over a period of like a few weeks um, and it was my birthday so I did go shopping for that um, and then I was on vacation, so I always like to kind of go shopping and spoil myself, when, spoil myself when I'm on vacation. So yeah, without further ado, let's get into it. So one of the first places I went when I was in Texas is I went to Macy's. And this was a really big deal for me because I've always wanted to try the um, new Anastasia products or the Anastasia Beverly Hills products that are coming out. She's been coming out with so many amazing products and I've been hearing so many wonderful things about them, but I cannot find them in any Macy's in Tennessee in general. Like where I live here in Memphis, in Nashville, East Tennessee, like 100% cannot get these products in Tennessee at all. But you can get them all over the place in Texas. So when I was down there, I made sure to go to a Macy's and look at the, um, it's called like the Macy's Impulse Boutiques where they sell all the rest of these Anastasia products. So um, yeah, and you can get Anastasia, 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 however you wanna say it, I say Anastasia. You can get Anastasia products here, like at Sephora, just her typical brow products and like some contour powders. You can get those here, but her liquid lipsticks, her concealers, her lip glosses, all that extra stuff I cannot find in the state of Tennessee at all. So I made sure to get some when I was down there. And I picked up just a bunch of her lip products. I say a bunch, I picked up like four, which I guess is a bunch, I don't know, yeah. And the first thing I got is this liquid lipstick in the shade Spicy, and can we just right now on the packaging, like, can we just? So let me give you a little swatchy swatch. And guys, these things are so stinking pigmented. It is insane. And they are liquid lipsticks, so they will dry down matte, and they will last for a very, very long time. So that is the shade Spicy right there. And it's just like a bright orange spicy color. There's no other way to describe that other than what it's called. So yeah. And I really love oranges, especially during the summertime. I think they look really great on um, tanner skin tones. Okay, and then the next one I got is the lip liquid lipstick in the shade Sad Girl. It is that burgundy berry color, but it has little, like, flecks of pink and red glitter in it. I mean, it is just gorgeous, you guys. It just has a sheen. So it does dry down matte, but then it's got that little bit of those little flecks in there that makes it pop and like shine still but it's still matte I don't know it is just absolutely beautiful and I tried it on and I knew that I had to have it because I didn't have anything like it um so props to Anastasia for coming out with a product that I don't have anything like because I have a lot of products so that is the shade sad girl right there and I, I did just swatch these so they haven't had a chance to dry down yet but if you like you know wait for it to dry after you put it on your lips they do stay matte so in these swatches, they might look a little bit glossy because they haven't completely dried yet, if that makes sense. That's what I'm trying to say, but they do dry down to a matte finish. So that is the shade Sad Girl right there. And these things last for forever and it's staining my hand. So the rest of the swatches after this may be stained like pink or red. <laughs> okay. The next thing I got is um, a few of her lip glosses. I got two of them. This first one is in the shade Undressed. Oh, I forgot how pretty this is. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. And the packaging is a little bit different on these lip glosses. I believe these are like $17 and or $16 and the liquid lipsticks are $21. Um, the liquid lipsticks do have fancier packaging, so that could be why they're more expensive. Um, but the lip glosses are just plain clear tubing with a black cap. 
and this one is in the shade undressed and you guys this is so stinking pretty it is like a pinky nude color but it has little flecks of gold in it and oh, they smell really good oh my gosh you guys this is so stinking pretty so that is the shade vintage right there the last lip product I got from Anastasia is um, the lip gloss in the shade Vamp. And this is like a mauve like, I don't know, mauve reddish color. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. It swatches beautifully. This is going to be gorgeous in the fall time. And I really don't have, it does have a tint of berry in it, but it is more red. And it's very vampy. So that's the shade Vamp right there. Okay, and the last product that I got from Anastasia Beverly Hills is their concealer. Now, I've heard a ton of things about these concealers, but, um, and I've heard bad and good things. I've heard that it's really good for like spot concealing on the face or for carving out your brows. Uh, Excuse me, I have seen people put it under their eyes, but I have heard it's really not that great for under the eyes because it is so creamy and so pigmented. I tried it under my eyes in the store and I really liked it actually. It was very, very full coverage. Um, it really covered my dark circles and it also gave a tad bit of a highlight. I got mine in the shade 3.0, which I thought might be a little bit too dark for me, but it actually looked really, really good. And you get a ton of product in here, you guys. Um, you get... 0.35 ounces in this little pot you get it in this little jar I mean it is a frosted glass I just love the packaging on these and that is the concealer right there and I got mine in the shade 3.0 so I'm really really excited about this I mean you get so much product and it's so pigmented and creamy you need the tiniest amount like the tiniest amount and then the next place I went um, in this same mall that I got all the stuff from Macy's, I went to Lush and I picked up a few things from there. Um, I picked up a, another one of my tea tree water toner water. This is the tea tree one that I like to use in the summertime because this kind of mattifies my skin. It does have that tea tree in there so it keeps my acne at bay. And it's just a facial mist. I think I mentioned this in my top favorite skin and hair care products. Um, I love facial sprays. I mentioned a ton of them in that um, skincare video, so I will link that down below if you want to hear more about these products. But I love this stuff, and I have repurchased this probably like three or four times now. Um, I love it that much. And the next thing I got from Lush are some of their bath bombs and their bubble bars. Is that what they're called? I think I think they're called bubble bubble bars. I don't know. I'm sure somebody's going to be like, no, they're called this, but I can't remember what they're called. There's bath bombs, and then there's other ones that aren't like bath bombs. Anyways, um, so I got this one, and this was like the cotton candy one or something. As you can see, I've already used it, and it just made my bath. It smells really, really good. Um, it just made the bath water, like you can break these off and use them multiple times. So as you can see, I've used like a little bit less than half there, um, and I'll break off more and use it. Um, so I'm super excited about using the rest of that, and it smells so good. You guys, it literally smells like cotton candy. Um, sorry, I just got like pink stuff everywhere. <laughs> um, okay. Um, I've never used their stuff before, so as soon as I got it, I wanted to go home and take a bath so I could try it, and it made my bath water bright pink. There was a ton of bubbles, and it was very moisturizing, and it smelled very, very good. It smelled like sweet cotton candy, so um, that one's really, really good. Sorry, I should have looked at the names of all of these, um, but that one's like the cotton candy-ish one. Yeah, <laughs> that makes sense. Okay, and then this is a bath bomb, and I think this is the blueberry one. I think this is blueberry because it's like that kind of blue purpley tone, but these are gigantic, you guys. So supposedly when you put it in, it's like a gobstopper for your bath, basically, and the outside is blue, but then as you get to the center, it may change colors, it may stay the same, it may have like glitter in it or something. But they're super fun. So I'm sure you can find some videos of people throwing these in their baths to see what they do. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited to try this one. It smells really good too. It's really refreshing.
Okay, and this last one I got. Okay, and this last one I got, I think this was the, I don't remember. It wasn't avocado or the avo ball. It was like the green grass one because that's what it smells like. It smells like freshly mowed grass, which I love that smell. <laughs> Strange fact, I love the smell of freshly mowed grass. That's not weird, is it? Other people like that. That's the thing, right? And that's what this smells like. So it's just like this little green dude. So yeah, so that's everything that I got from Lush. Really excited to use this stuff in my bath. I try to reserve those for like days when I really want to relax or I've had a really stressful day and the only thing I wanna do is come home and um, you know, take a bubble bath and kind of pamper myself. So I'm super excited to use those. And then also while I was in Texas, I went to CCO or the Cosmetic Company Outlet. If you are lucky enough to have one of these near you, I'm so jealous of you because I can never, I don't know, it's just like, I wish we had one of these near me. I mean, it would do so well here just because I live here too and I would be there all the time. So anyway, the first thing I got is this Bobbi Brown eyeshadow in the shade Taupe. And it's just like a medium, neutral, more cool toned really, but kind of neutral, I guess. Um, just brown shade, a really nice crease color. Um, I do have a Bobbi, a Bobbi Brown palette, so you can just pop these shadows out and pop them into the palette. So um, I'm super excited to do that with this. The next thing I got is a MAC Mineralized Skin Finish Natural in the shade Medium Plus. I hear everybody and their stinking mother talk about these MAC Mineralized Skin Finish Naturals. So um, I just wanted to see what all the hype was about. And this is just a really, really great face powder. Um, that's what it looks like right there. And it's just in this, you know packaging or whatever. And the next thing I got is a MAC Mineralized Skin Finish Natural again, but this one is in the shade Dark Deep. I kind of regret purchasing this. Um, just because it is super orangey. Here, I'll show you what it looks like right there. I do still have the receipt, so next time I'm near a CCO, um, and they have one in Florida where we where I go in Florida every summer so I might try to return it to that one I haven't even used it yet but I did get home and notice that it was super close to my MAC mineralized skin finish in give me sun which is like a bronzer basically that looks just like this um, so I kind of regret purchasing that I have heard people use face powders, darker face powders, as bronzers before, so that's kind of what I was trying. Supposedly they blend out a lot better, just a natural face powder as a bronzer would blend out a lot better than a typical bronzer. I don't know. I just, I wanted to try it to see what the, you know, the hype was about that technique, that kind of bronzing technique. Um, but this is like basically the same tone as that Give Me Sun Powder from MAC. So um, I'm going to try to see, I do still have the receipt, I'm going to try to see if I can exchange this next time I'm near a CCO. So I'm going to put that one to the side. Okay, and the last thing I got from CCO is this, what is this? Mineralized Skin Finish in the shade Adored. Mineralized Skin Finish in the shade Adored. <laughs> Um, and this is like a highlight powder. It's super pretty. Now, I this is in the old packaging, which is kind of annoying. Um, the new packaging, you know, is like this, this sleek, like this kind of, you know, newish, new age looking packaging. And then this is the old packaging. Um, I don't like having things that look different, but from the same brand, if that makes sense, it kind of bothers me. But whatever. Um, but yeah, this is in the shade Adored. And this is like a peachy, bright highlight powder. It's super pretty. Oh yeah, oh yeah, that's like really stinking pretty. Oh yeah, that is like so pretty. It's like a pinky, peachy highlight shade. So that is that right there. And I was trying to look up online if that was limited edition or not. If I can find it, um, I will leave like a little like blurb here saying if it was limited edition or not. But I really can't remember if it was limited. I've never heard of it and I don't, think it's in the permanent collection, but it might be in the pro collection, meaning that you can get it online. I don't know if you can still get this, but if you can still get this, I will leave it in a little blurb right here of where you can get it. Um, otherwise, check your local CCO if you want to get this highlight. It is super pretty and I can't wait to use it. Ooh, okay, almost done. Next place I went was Ulta, and the first thing I got from Ulta is a Real Techniques stippling brush. And it's just a, you know, duo fiber brush similar to this one. 
but from Real Techniques. So it was super inexpensive. They're, this brush was like $6.99. And I did have one of these brushes before, but I gave it to my mom um, for her makeup application, and I just needed to repurchase it. I love stippling brushes to blend out like contour if I get a little bit too clownish. Um, the next thing I got was a bunch of lashes because they were having a sale on lashes. So these were all either $1.99 or $2.99. Um, so, and I'm in a wedding this weekend, so I wanted some kind of new lashes for the wedding. Um, and I think I might use these individuals. Um, these are the Ardell individuals in the Flare Short Black. So I got a pack of those. And then I got the Ardell Natural 116s. And then I got the Ardell Glamour Demis, um, number 102. Really excited about those. Those look super pretty. I also got some more duo. Ooh. I also got some more duo lash adhesive. Um, I got this actually from CVS because you you can see those annoying stickers on there. But I was out of town and I forgot lash adhesive, so I needed to get some. So I just picked up some more duo. Um, and also while I was at CVS, I couldn't resist this baked blush from Milani in the shade Berry and More. It's like a really, I'm sorry, but that annoying sticker's right there. It's like a gold rose. It's got a bunch of gold running through there. It's kind of like a marbled baked blush. Super pretty. And that's from Milani. Um, and then I got another one of my Mario Badescu facial spray with aloe, herbs, and rose water. Again, I also mentioned this in my skin and hair care favorite. Um, and then I got a tea... A tree hut chase a tree hut shea sh tree hut shea sugar scrub Amazon and the fragrance is Amazon Pequi P E Q U I Pequi Pequi don't know but I love these um, tubs I actually surprisingly Whenever I buy these, I tend to not use them, um, so I always feel bad every time I buy one, but I always buy them, and I find that I, like, never use up a full one, but these Tree Hut ones, I use the entire tub of. They smell so good, and they are really, really great for exfoliating your skin, and they're super gentle, oh, and that just smells so good. It smells like a tropical starburst. Oh, it smells so good. So, um, yeah, really excited to use this. Okay. And I've saved the best for last because I got my hands on, drum roll, the Laura Geller Baked Gelato Swirl Illuminator in the shade Gilded Honey. If you watch a lot of YouTube videos like yours truly, you will have heard of this and the absolute 100% total big huge hype around this product. Okay, this one in Gilded Honey, if you can find it, if you're at an Ulta and you can find it, buy it because then you can probably turn it around and sell it for $50 on eBay. <laughs> I'm not even kidding because you literally can't get this anywhere. The Ulta that I was at was kind of in the middle of nowhere. So it didn't surprise me that they didn't, that they had one of these. I only had one. Um, and I was like, yes, give it to me now. I have heard everybody and their stinking grandmother talking about this highlight and how amazing it is. So that's what it looks like there. I mean, it's absolutely beautiful in the pan. The packaging is a little cheap. It's just like plastic closure. Um, so they could have done better on the packaging. It is $24, but let's just do a little swatchy swatch, shall we? Okay, first of all, let's just, there it is on my finger. I mean, look at that, you guys. Okay, let's swatch it. O M stinking. We need a moment of silence for this highlight. It's so pretty. So that's what it looks like right there. Like, I'm just going to give you a second on that one. Just, just going to give you a moment.
That is everything that I have bought over the past month and a half or so. It's been a lot of time accumulating these products and I wanted to get this haul up for you guys because I was tired of looking at all of these bags sitting here. They were taking up floor space in my room and I was like, I've got to get these hauls up. If you didn't see my previous birthday haul, I will link it down below. And if you want to see a tutorial on this look, everything on my face right now is drugstore. I will also link that down below. If you enjoyed this video, I would really, really appreciate it if you would subscribe. If you've already subscribed, thank you so much for your continued support. I really, really do appreciate it. As always, please share this with your friends. Um, it just helps my channel grow here on YouTube and become more popular. Leave me a comment requesting any other videos you want to see. Share it with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe. And I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Bye.